Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Jaja, and we're going to be working on some loose leash walking. Now, loose leash walking is easily one of the most important things you can ever teach a dog. And what we're going to be doing today is just doing a couple laps in this indoor patio so we can establish Jaja's pacing and a really strong foundation of what's to be expected when we do walk Jaja anywhere. Now, to do that, there are going to be three rules that we're going to follow. So, no pulling, no dragging, and no sniffing the ground. And we always start the same way with the dog's name and then the command. So, Jaja, let's go. Come on. Now, right off the bat, you see Jaja's got a really nice pace going. I'm really a big fan of how she's following my feet. She's not pulling ahead. She's just walking straight beside me, which is excellent. Come on. Good girl. You see, I'm just using my voice to encourage her around certain turns and all that fun stuff. Good girl. Really beautiful walking. Come on. You see, I just put a little pressure on the leash because she was a little slow around that turn. Still, she did excellent. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. Overall, I really like the walking that I'm seeing from Jaja. She's doing excellent. Good girl. Very nice walking that we're seeing here. Come on. Uh uh. Come on. Now, right there, what I did was I just went ahead and gave Jaja a correction. Uh uh. Because, as you can see, she was dragging behind a little bit. The reason why dragging is so detrimental in walking is because we don't want the dogs to think that if they sit, if they stop walking, then we will stop walking because we want this to be our walk, not Jaja's. Come on. Come on. See, I'm speeding up just to encourage her to move a little faster. But once again, really important just to establish to Jaja that this is going to be our walk, and she can't control whether we're stopping or going. And you can see I'm using the leash as a tool here, because when I'm giving corrections, I'm not pulling Jaja. All I'm doing is putting kind of a snap in the leash, and what that does is that communicates to Jaja in a way that she can understand that what she's doing is not appropriate for the walk. Come on, let's go. Good girl. See, I'm speeding up a little bit. Come on. Good girl. We're going to do one more turn over here. Come on. Good girl, Jaja. And then to stop with Jaja, I'm going to go ahead and say her name and then take a couple extra steps. This gives her space to stop with me. Jaja. Yes, good girl. And you see she offered a sit, which is very polite. But Jaja did fantastic on her walk today. You see that we do got to work a little bit on her turns. As she was a little bit slow, she was dragging behind a little bit. But other than that, you see she did excellent. She was walking next to me. She wasn't pulling at all wasn't sniffing the ground. Overall, this was a really great practice session with Jaja today. Good girl. Oh, look how good you are.